And that's how it's going there in Anambra State. Well, as the more infectious Omicron variant of the coronavirus triggers an unprecedented surge in cases around the world, the World Health Organization has added two more drugs to its guidelines for recommended treatments for COVID-19. Uh, they are baricitinib um, and also uh, for citrovimab. That's a conditional recommendation. Well, to talk more about uh, these new drugs. The latest to us joining us in the studio here in Lagos is Mr. Peter Ogini. He is a chief pharmacist uh, with FMC Lagos. Thank you for joining us on the program. Yeah, thank you. So let's begin. How do the new drugs work against COVID-19? Yeah, the, the new drugs, uh, with, I mean, uh, it's, uh, it's a thing of joy that the World Health Organization come up with a trial. Uh, if you look at the, the ravaging of the, the COVID-19, a lot of people died, and uh, not many people were, were ready to take the, the vaccine. And uh, with this new drug development, it has gone through stages, or you call phases of uh, testing for most of drugs that are developed. You have phase one, phase two, phase three, phase four. And uh, most of the drugs that are available now, you'll find out that they are oral drugs compared to the, the vaccines that they have to invade the, the, the patient. Not many people, you know, like such invasion. They are averse to it. So, the needles. Yeah, yes. So, so with, the, with, the, with the tablets that are being, you know, produced right now, uh, which is being pioneered by the World Health, it, it brings succor. And uh, again, it will help in reducing the number of people and patients who perhaps don't want to, you know, assess the treatment. So these new drugs, do they apply to, is it the more severe cases, moderate yeah, cases moderate, of COVID-19? Moderate to, just mild to moderate. Because if it is severe, then it becomes, you know, maybe a hospitalization thing, you know. And some of these drugs reduce hospitalization and death. Like you have, you know, a sotro, Sotromivap and uh, Paxlovid. Paxlovid is made by Pfizer. What they done is by GSK. And uh, they've all pioneered their research such that uh, the, the side effect and the hospitalization uh, period is reduced. You know, for the Sotrovimas, you are talking of like uh, maybe 79% reduction in hospitalization and death. Why the Pfizer product, which is the uh, Rotanova, which is branded as Paxlovic, it is about uh, 90%. You know, Mac also has their own product, which is a uh, more, sorry, excuse me, Molpuniva, you know. And uh, the Molpuniva is just as good, but the side effects are more compared to that of the Pfizer. But we also know that some of these drugs are coming out and the trials done essentially tackles Delta variant. But what about the Omicron variant of COVID-19? Uh, Omicron variant is, is a new variant. And it, the, the thing about the, the virus is that it keeps mutating. And because it keeps mutating, it is difficult to trap. But with the, devel with the drug they have developed now, it is easy for, for people who want to assess treatment to, to get treated because of the research that has been done on those drugs and the, the phases of trial that it has gone through. In the most drug trials, you have phase one, which you test with animals. Phase two, you test for, for safety. Is it safe for human? Then the phase three, you talk of the efficacy. Is it efficacious? And these, these new drugs have gone through the phases. So, so if they have gone through the phases and World Health consider it fit for for managing the COVID-19, I think it's a plus for the world health. My last question is, any adverse reactions? And then how will the rest of the world get it? Because we know how, um, you know, vaccines have not gotten to enough vaccines, haven't gotten to some parts of the world. Yeah, yeah, it, that's what I'm saying. Now. The, the issue of safety has been tested, so it is safe. And it is simple oral, tra I mean, a tablet. So getting to the world, it's left for the government to do sensitization. Even in our country, Nigeria, I think, uh, what do you call it, National Orientation Agency, I don't think they have done much in the sense that if the National Orientation Agency come out captions, radio captions and other areas where they can 
sensitize the public. Then people, the withdrawal that you have, people not getting ready, not making themselves ready to take this, will not be there. And also that applies to vaccination as well, because yes, this yes, would exactly. have to be recommended by a physician. Yes, it, it has to be recommended because they are prescription drugs. But you see, the thing with some of these drugs is that they are emergency drugs. And with all the emergency drugs, some of them are toxic. And because the emergency, the FDA will basically would have given authorization that those drugs should be produced because you have an emergency situation that has to be taken care of. All right, we appreciate your time. Thank you so much, Mr. Peter Ogeni, Chief Pharmacist, FMC Lagos. Thank you for joining us on the Thank program. Thank you very much.